the whole premise of this video <laughs> you're gonna turn that into a cool one that is to see if we can take some bags of shit we, yeah we came prepared and we didn't turned just, it into a camper just, i don't even know what to say and make them somewhat usable for a camping scenario it gets worse <laughs> it gets a lot worse <laughs> so we're going on a British camping holiday. I found next to a skip. They are spork knife sporks. Eleven pounds. Whatever comes with the car is an advantage. And then we have fifty pounds on top of that. So do you want to start with Al and his people carrier? The elephant in the room is it's not a car, but I've fixed that. Have I you have written made car it on it? A Volkswagen car. <laughs> That's actually, that's actually quite a good joke for him. How long are you thinking that up? Or was that I mean, by accident? I mean, no, I came up with it by accident. <laughs> oh, right. So All we right. get we get fifty pounds, but then you're allowed one item that, that you, you already own. You already <laughs> so my one item is not a dead body. A kayak. You brought a kayak. I brought a Why kayak. Is what is the actual make and model of this? Uh, it is a Volkswagen car. Ravel. It's got eight seats. Eight seats. Aircon. This is a seat. It's got aircon. It's got gears. Uh, backwards one, two. What year is it? Two thousand. It's, it's got, got rust. It's got featured it's rust. It's got really shitty paint. It's got many outstanding convictions. It looks like it's been in an acid down. attack. Take us through your camper. My camper. Right. Obviously, I already own duvets and whatnot. They're irrelevant we'll brush past all that stuff i have got a single air bed a single air bed how much was the single air bed 11 pounds where'd you find that go outdoors oh I should have done that. there was a cheaper one there was a seven pound one out of stock but you may be asking oh it's an eight seater how is this floating well if you fold the seats flat you get a nice flat surface but there's a gap in the middle ah Plank Award from B&Q, nine go out and pounds. Buy a &Q Plank Award? I already had it, but I went to B&Q, <laughs> found out the price of it, so and included that in my budget. Right. Okay. So, right. So that's you, fair. Is that fair? Uh, yeah. Some, all right. Somewhere. That's fair. I can, I can have fun and I can sleep. The next most important you can have thing. Fun. I don't know what you're thinking is going to happen on this camping weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How am I going to eat? <laughs> oh, sick! That's well good. I got as a fire pit. How much was that? Twenty nine pounds. So that's your entire budget. So I've much. got one pound left. How Do these count as consumables? How are you gonna cook? What utensils did you get? All right, fair enough. So you basically oh, you're no, gonna fuck, I didn't you can get any utensils. <laughs> right, there, Jonathan, sure. the granddad wagon. So here we have a nineteen ninety seven. It's the 940 celebration. Oh, so right, okay. it's purple. Is you that have, why it's purple? You have half leather, you have a walnut dash. Is that genuine walnut? No, and what have you done? Right, so. You're just kipping in your this, car? This was your idea. The car is everything I need, basically. Because. I you just... can't eat a car. <laughs> what? So my item Sorry, is a skateboard. I feel like I'm just in the way. Because I get up before everyone else and You're I always in the way, Al. Sorry. <laughs> my camping stove. Oh, that was so. What is that? It's a pack of cards. It's a lighter. Oh, I, I've seen these. Are these one of those that go on top of a big canister? Yeah. And the can. Oh my god, this is po right. this is that's this is up. poverty van life. It's, it's alright putting it's that 50 in a tiny quid. little box. I like it how Norton's um camping. Um, Can we see it work? Box is an, an Amazon, Amazon box. box. Yeah. This is going to be my cooler. Well, in to a be fair, while. it, it, it <laughs> was gonna, free. Are you going to turn that into a cooler? That's <laughs> not a bad idea. You put ice in it. Yeah. Bin, bin bag and then ice. Frying pans and a pot to cook in. That's very clever if you live on Skid Row. Oh, like it how everything's still in the package. Yeah, no, uh, not, not even taken this bit out. Oh, oh we can burn this later. <laughs> I've got. Are they spork knife sporks? They are spork knife sporks. Every angle. That is covered. very clever. And I have recorded all everything. And I have a single mattress yeah. modelled by a lady. <laughs> this was already in the car. This isn't part of anything. <laughs> so fine. you're you're going to put your seats down, put the mattress in, and that's going to be your camper. Yeah. Unlike you two, I've done this properly. Okay. 
and I've turned the car into a mini version of the van. Okay, For fuck's sake. Mark Lloyd. Welcome to the camper. So, what you got? Storage with oh, a cooking shit. stove. You got this with all your clothes in and a frying pan out. See, I, th I knew that you'd have a pan, so I just thought, whoa. And then I've this, got a fire. this is you my luxury pan. item. Okay, that is fair. Yeah. Your dad helped build this. No, he didn't. Because this is sand. This is sand. No, he did. I actually had my dad and my sister help build this. This is all cost nothing. Because well, because you be already own. No, because this is from a pallet I found next to a skip. Have you got proof of that? Because this don't look like pallet wood. It's pallet wood. Did you pay for the this yeah pallet wood, Lloyd? Yeah, it that's pallet that came wood. with a barcode. Pig. That's no. That was that was next to it. They were throwing that out. They were throwing it out. They just didn't want it. Can I get out of here? Because I feel like You're I should start hungry. wanking while you two watch. All right. So where are we actually heading then? So we're heading to Wales. Yes, I believe. So I believe that. Because that's where every van life goes. Mark, what? I bought stickers. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to show you them because I want to put them on Norton's car without him knowing. <laughs> the whole point of this challenge really was to prove that you don't need to spend money on a camper van. Off we go. Like I said earlier, I'm driving a 1997 Baldwin 940 2.3 petrol turbo celebration. So, the van. Yes, it's a van. Yes, there's more space than a regular car would have. So Norton's car is basically an Amazon box full of crap. Yes, I do have a van. This is my van. It's a Volkswagen T4 Caravelle. Al is like a homeless man living in his car. Uh, this is easily the best car out of the three. It's a 2000, the long nose edition with the, I don't know what you meant to call it, gar I call it a garage door. It's the, the door that goes like that. I'm not saying that I'm, yeah. I'm the only one here who's done this properly. I've turned my car into a camper. Basically, ever since lockdown, the prices of vans have just gone ridiculous. I've been using this van as a camper van for almost a year by just folding the seats flat like I do now, putting wood over the gaps and putting a big double airbed over the top. So all you people watching this, who's like, I'm gonna spend some money on a crafter or a Caddy or a T5, they're all VWs. I don't have anything against VWs, but you do not need to spend that money. Get yourself a 90s bag of shit. We've got two hours and 30 minutes ahead of us. I'll see you on the other side. Since we're in a bit of traffic, I thought we'd play a bit of a game. I've got a CB radio name generator. You want to know what your CB name is? Go on then. For Jonathan Norton. Your CB radio name would be... Jazzbone Ninja. <laughs> Ninja? Jazzbone Ninja. I'll take that. Mark Lloyd, your CB radio name is Magnum Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> That's appropriate. Lloyd, you are the Magnum Lizard. What are you? Al's is just Pedo. Admiral Hammerhead. I don't feel like mine's as good.
<laughs> Al's camera's just fallen off the back of his um, van. <laughs> Sat there, like just chasing my mother for about seven minutes. I'm waiting for you, and every time I'd glance at her, I'd start laughing. Wales is absolutely unreal. We made it anyway. Where are we, Al? Come on, Berish. I've got, an, I've got an idea. <laughs> so have I. You know how, like, we're in a very picturesque place, and you know, like, how everyone on Instagram who does like van life and all that kind of bullshit takes the most ridiculous, yes. like, samey pictures all the time. Yeah. yeah. Like with the dars up and and a glass prosecco and all that yeah. bollocks. Right? I've never seen that before. Well, you're not, you're not part of places, I'm not part of Van Life's Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> so what about then, if we all have to go and get the most the basic word? bitch basic bitch Van Life picture, and then what I'll do is I'll put them on the YouTube <laughs> channel, and you can people can vote on which is the best. Split up, Split up and go and do it. Yeah. Right, so basic bitch photo back here by our most, The most interesting. Are we going for good or it just, it doesn't matter. typical? It doesn't matter. Two things it has to I'm include yourself and your vehicle. Right, come on, let's go then. Take photo on phone. What, how, how else would you take a photo? Camera. No, it's not, I'm not going to be able to get it off. Bye bye. Right, do you want to go get some to eat? Have a pint yeah, somewhere. Should we go for a pint or something? Should we actually? <laughs> yeah, do you want to go for a pint? <laughs> let's, just, let's just go for a pint and take our pictures in the car park. No, we'll do it in the pub like that and not tell him. <laughs> If I do say so myself, I'm the basic bitch of the group. We're in Lanberis at the moment. Just up the road from Lanberis is what I can see. Oh, you bellend. Wanker. Snowden. Snowden is right there, and Snowden is the basic bitch van lifer's wet dream. That's what everyone does. It's where everyone goes. They go to Snowden, and then they're the the hiking mountaineering king of the world. No, I'll do a picture of you with a bite and you do a picture of me with a bite. <laughs> <laughs> this is better, this is way better. I am yet to go up Snowden because I've hate the tourism of, of it. Tour, tour, tourism, tour, tourism. I hate how overly touristy. Tour, tour, why can't I say that word? Tour, tour. Tourist, touristy. How do you say that word? Perfect in almost every way because the F1's on. I was gonna just say they've got a big screen showing F1, which we hate and he loves. <laughs> it's very foggy. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park up with the best view out of the back of the van I can find. Oh, oh, oh. Better idea, better idea. Try and get somewhere where I can get the van on its own with a view behind it, sit on the roof of it, and do like that with my legs so my legs will go funny. Put it on self timer, or I'll stand on it and go like that and be like, van lifer. That's a good idea. God, this is beautiful. This is one of the best moments we've ever captured on camera. I might have just accidentally stumbled upon a good idea. Yes, yes. That's a few and a half. Just need to find the right shot. If I put it like that. I think it's lots of stuff now, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Right. So if I show you what I'm thinking, right. Look at that view. Right, so I'm thinking if I put my phone here, take that shot. Obviously a bit more zoomed in, just like this, here. And then me either sat on the roof. Are we sitting in back out of everyone's way? Yeah. It's not gonna work, is it? I need a rock, I need a rock, I need a rock. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 
bit of rock there. Photo. Cheers, Lordy. Cheers, John. For sobriety. Yeah. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Perfect, I just need to put it on timer. Scooch forward a bit so I can get you in the pint. <laughs> right, that's set up, ready. Now I need to. Got it. <laughs> right, it'll do. It'll do. I don't think they're going to beat that. Beautiful. Do you want to set off before me and then it looks less suspicious? Yeah, we can do. It's 10 to 4. We said quarter. We, we said 4. 4 to quarter past. Right, so here's where I might run into an issue. I don't remember where the car park is that we all said we'd meet back up. We're doing this all stealthy and uh, Al's not even here. Which is the one thing. Was it there? Was that where it's been caught? <laughs> Al's close by. I can hear children being abused. <laughs> I wonder if he, them two are back already. I know you don't know this, but it's a well-known fact that Lloydy thinks he's got dementia. You're welcome, Lloydy. And I can't see either. Oh, I've, I can see them both. Ah, that kid's dropped his ice cream on the floor. Yeah, where stuck. you been? Round, I went round that, the mountains over there, and over to that side. But then there was a triathlon. Uh, well, Did you take part in the triathlon? Yeah. No, do. you just need to send me the photo. Okay, I'll we're send not, you the we're photo. We're not like, we're not looking at each other's. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I've got an idea. Al has a canoe. Why don't we race Al? On foot. On foot. Okay, all right. The challenge is, Al is allowed to go across the lake. Me and Lodi have to go around the lake. And we have to beat him. This should be fun. <laughs> Are we doing a race where I just go straight across and you go round and we've got to get to a point? Or have I got to go there and back and you've got to go all the way around the lake? Point. Because he's got to pedal back. He's got to I've got to pedal back, back anyway. anyway. So you've got to go halfway around and then back. I don't know how quickly you Neither can do paddle. I. Neither do I. Let's I've never get... done a point to point on Let's a kayak before. Let's just get before. down there and look at it. Have you got a life jacket? No. Jesus is my life jacket. Yeah, this will make it interesting because... I Are you wearing a wig? <laughs> You're wearing a medieval wig, you know, like... <laughs> leave me alone, leave me alone! <laughs> right, Lloyd, it's so... He's wearing a medieval wig. <laughs> Where's he got it from? <laughs> Where's he got it from? Still stuck. Oh, bollocks, we're big rock there. Bye, Al. Bye. Shouldn't we be setting off? We're off right. to pull that way. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do you want a can of beer to yeah, walk around with? Yeah, a couple of cans. I'm serious. Oh, you serious? Yeah. There we go. So I've got to get to that big rock over there. Let's get over to the rock. This is what all our videos would be like if we didn't go to abandoned buildings. What? Just... Oh, let's do a challenge where we have to do a race around a lake. <laughs> <laughs> while we have a drink. <laughs> while we get drunk. It's like we're, alcoholics. We're basically parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very stable. Who's spinning here? My hands are a bit wet. Oh, it's raining. Cheers, Lloydy. Another challenge accepted. <laughs> I'm on a massive lake. The weather is like what well, it looks like it could be very bad very quickly. What if I got in a bit of trouble? It's very easy to die. The thing about Al is he's too competitive. Things that are really safe don't tend to be that fun. You know like where we were like, we just go somewhere for the experience. You mean like the time we played pool? And the time we went bowling. And the time we did that car challenge and he was crying all the way home. It's taking me. I'm, oh. I'm on a rock. I think Al's going. Paddle. Stuck! Let's go 
GoPro's not pointing at anything. I can't get out of this. We might have killed him. <laughs> Exhausting. Where are you, Not, and Can you come to the other side of the bridge, in fact? I started feeling myself go and I was like, oh fuck. If, I, if you get me to where that tree is. He's done it. Al, yeah? now come back under the bridge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when he was getting tired and he was like, Fuck, that's it, we've done it, we've finally accomplished something. <laughs> um, I was saying in the car how we have literally spent four years sleeping in laybys in Wales. That was like my other, other point with this whole thing. I think that a lot of people get put off the idea of doing this kind of thing because they see people with really expensive vans that's that it. are really well put together and they're like, oh, I can't afford that, I can't do that. You know what I mean? But like... Trust me, 90% of the time you're staying in a shit lay-by, there's human feces to the left of you yeah. and needles to the right. And it's Here like... Here I am, stuck in the middle with and you. It, it's, and so that's like 90% of the time, and then 10% of the time you're at places like this. Yeah. And it's worth it, but just don't get sucked into that whole thing where you just... You have to have a sprinter. You have to have a T5. You have to have wood in your vehicle you have to you have to have wood you have to have wood you have to have fairy lights you, yeah you don't have to have any of that well shit. and you know what's really funny as well it's like you know like i was saying earlier the handful of people that i follow that i actually dislike following they've been to a lot of places that we've been not exactly the places that are the hard find hard to find places but you know the places that we have to go to to find the hard to find places yeah, yeah. like the shit in the Norway and stuff. Yeah. And they've took pictures where it looks like they're in the middle of nowhere, but yeah, I was like, I know where you, you are. You know that there's a McDonald's next door. I know to where it. you are, you yeah. evil bastards. It's like there is 90% of the time they've just taken that perfect shot that's in between the McDonald's, the bins, and the co op. Social media is it's poison. It's, it's all fake. It's poison. It's all fake. It's nothing is real. Is yours already set up? Yeah, pretty much. So is mine. Because we've done this properly. We, yeah, we came prepared and we didn't turned just, it into a didn't camper. Just, we didn't just buy, buy some a box shit off Amazon, Amazon shit Amazon. and then throw it in the back of the car and make no effort. I don't even know what to say. I'm well impressed with this. What, the little camping stuff? Yeah, it's sick. How much was it? Oh, I can't remember. The devil, he's here. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. It's a challenge. It's good, it looks good. That's why like Gordon Ramsay shit is that. That's perfect consistency. Like, why the hell would you need to go to Ibiza when you can do this? How's it going? Um, it's alright, just everything's a bit soggy. Nothing. Yeah. Your car looks like Joseph Fritzl designed it. <laughs> it kind of does with that hat. <laughs> <laughs> The Fritzl hat. The Fritzl hat. You know what? I've had a really good day. Let's get started for a bit. Look, plenty of leg room. If you sleep with your head down there, and I've done this before, you're gonna put your phone like that, and then you can watch stuff. Who needs a camper van when you've got class? Anyway, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. I slept incredibly well. A word of advice, if you're going to get, you're going to do this, get a mattress for the vest. Because last, last night it felt like I was sleeping on a mortician slab. Are you going to try some spam? Yeah. Feed it to him like the body of Christ. The body amen. and blood is it red or? When I say the body and blood of Christ, you say amen. <laughs> the body and blood of Christ. Amen.
all right. I know the real reason why you're all here today. You all want to know, do you really need a kayak? Do you really need a paddle board? No, you don't. How is it? Fucking Jesus. What, you riding a camel? A water camel? How is it? It's fine. It's, uh, like you said, it's because it's not like aerodynamic or pointy. It's because you can't put the, no the nose down. Yeah. If you had something that would take the nose down, you'd be fine. Maybe try lay flat. Do you want to see if we can get down to the other end of the lake? I could trust this. Come on. What's that in back of your car? Is that a can bomb? Yeah. I think he hot knifed it. That is a can bomb. Oh, is that your, is that your, your work's uniform? Is that your work's uniform, Al? I thought you stopped delivering, uh, stopped being a delivery driver. <laughs> We're gonna go somewhere to get signal to find coordinates to somewhere called the Fisherman's Trail. I don't actually know what the Fisherman's Trail is. All the Instagram folk go there, I've never been there, but... Basically there's like a bunch of headlines in newspapers that say this path is not for the faint-hearted. Apparently it's been absolutely destroyed because it got so popular. If you attempt this you will die and... So we're gonna go there and check it out and see what we find. <laughs> Decided to take a detour to go see a waterfall because Al said it was nice. So. We'll say we're waiting this BMW turn around first. Yeah, we're here and there's more cars here than a multi story car park BMW in the middle of Birmingham. Am I staying here, Al? I'm going forward. The only way to get out of here is to reverse all the way back down that horrible hill. Well, we're going to have to get out of here at some point. Apparently this were on country file, that's why everyone's here. It were on country pedophiles. Pedophile hotspot. That's why Al knows about it. There's two cars that are behind me and I think a, another car has come up. <laughs> the last time I came here there was not another single car here. I can smell bullshit. Oh my god, this is awesome. Not a chance, not a chance, no way. I'm not doing that. Come on, let's just eye it up. Look at that water. You're gonna. That's, that's proper fast. <laughs> Fell in that. You're dead. Oh, you're a bit of like you're being in a washing machine. Can you give Audi the coward's hat? You've got to wear the coward's hat. This is gonna be horrible, but we've got to do it. Well, that was a good idea. Yeah, that was a good idea. It's gonna be horrible, but we've got to do it. To be fair, this is a lot worse than I thought. A bit loose. The ropes like not tight, so if you fell you'd you'd fall still. <laughs> right, I'm intrigued, I wanna know what this all about. It gets worse. <laughs> it gets a lot worse. <laughs> this is sketchiest. This gets a lot sketchier. I don't think that was that bad. But looking at this. That was worse. Yeah. Really? Way worse. Why? 
It's like there's wood and then there's no wood and you're walking on ladders. Oh god. I have no idea. What fisherman's coming down here? I have no idea. No. What fisherman is coming down here in the right mind? I have not a clue what fisherman is doing this. But... I'll not touch the rope while you're on it. <laughs> I told you, people have broken it, look. We're going to have to take it in turns to do this bit. Yeah, that's right. I'm 17 stone. Don't try this at home. That's the bit I'm worried about. If this snaps, I'm off for a swim. Oh my God. Right, we're all right. We're all right. There's all these wooden, all these bits here that are broken. It's all because of the influx of tourists that have been coming. Like this was untouched and only known about by the people that live in the village for so long. And then I think it was like TikTok or something that like made it so popular. I'll let you get off it before I get to where you are. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh, just... See. Oi, hey, what are you doing down there? Doing How did you get up there? You can go around. <laughs> oh, now you tell us. I like stuff like this because I can enjoy it. And I imagine that that's half of the reason why everyone comes as well. I know nothing about this, like whatsoever. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. I'm not doubting it. I'm not dissing it, should I say, because I actually really enjoyed that. There might be a big influx of people and you might be like, oh, there's so many people going, ah, oh. but you are one of them people. What is the perk? Why, what, why is it, number one, why is it called the Fisherman's Trail? Who's catching fish off that when you just go to the other side and throw a rod in? I mean, so how can, how much can you really be like, against people going to places when you want to go to them too. Who looks at this bit of rock and thinks, I'm going to put some ladders on the... Yeah, and do that. Al's trying to talk to me while he's stood in the middle of a rapid at the bottom of a cliff and he's like... Like I'm supposed to be able to hear that. Let's just get out of here, I'm sick of it. Yeah. What is it? Where? I don't know, but it's definitely there. Yeah, it's that. What? The engine coming. When you're driving, you don't see how far it's going. It's literally going Everyone like that. Uh, Has it started inflating? This is the other thing about holi holidaying in Britain. And the Mackie straw. Are they beetles or are they wasps? They look like beetles. Probably... They are beetles. And some kind of weird shrimp thing. That's like some kind of spell. Get me seven beetles and a shrimp. in a car park to discuss who was the true victor of this weekend. You get a point for everything it has. So you get a point for like pillows, mattress, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? You yeah. had a mattress. I did. A duvet. I did. And pillows. Yes. Right? So you get three points. I didn't come with a mattress, so I only get two. You didn't come with pillows. So you won't. Because you did. You asked me if anyone had a pillow. I could have used my bag as a pillow. Well, yeah, but that's not a pillow, is it? It's a bag. You've got two points. Pillow that you put Fuck your off, head on. You've, you've got, got two, two points. points. Shut up. Cooking facilities. Yeah, you really didn't I, have any cooking right, facilities. I had cooking facilities, but mine were weather permitted and the weather turned against us, so which, I get minus which, points for that, but I still get some points. 
No, you don't. What? You had a gas stove. And I had... What? Wait. And, and pots and pans, so you get three points. I at least get one. I get three. Norton gets three. I get one. And, and you, you, get I get one. you get minus five, right? Because you brought something which isn't made for cooking. You, you brought it was. Food. It's a fire pit barbecue. You brought, barbecue. you brought. This is set up. You, to, no, it's, it's not set up me. at all. You brought your own. I could have cooked on it. I, I think I think minus five's half. All right, okay. I'll That's tell you what. No, no if, minus five. If minus anything. It's just zero. No, minus five is ash. So you can have minus three. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched way too much Top Gear. I'm, I'm like, right, entertainment. Right, entertainment. I had a kayak to go out on the lake on. That's well, entertainment. That's your own entertainment. No, no, no it's that's true. That's entertainment. Is that, is that because I had if a radio, which so I get a point. So I'll had a kayak. I had a radio. I should have double it. points because number one, I used my one of my items of yeah, sleeping. That's true. That's true. As a yeah, as a flotation yeah, device, and I, I also brought a skateboard. I get more, get more points? points because mine was better. No, no it wasn't mine was equally as good. You and get that. he got he got entertainment out of something that wasn't meant for entertainment. So that, I think that's fair. Come on, good. I got a point for a radio, and Al, you get a point for a kayak. Storage. <coughs> Are we counting the vehicle as the no. storage? No. So what you're doing is you're basically set that yeah, up. For you yourself. were like, oh, yeah. I'll put you. You, 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 you were just, <laughs> you're on. The, you when we were discussing this, you said storage, and I'm like, storage. Why do we need storage? You got a camping. Ah, I'm at a fridge out of a cardboard box. In, uh, I guess that's, that's a technically that's a fridge, not a storage. So you stored food in it. I don't give a flying piss. You don't. When you go to a get buy a fridge, you don't buy it from the storage section. You buy it from the fridge section. Technically, it's just technic storage. What? You're it's technically food. a cold cupboard. Is that what you're saying? Well, cold storage, basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. It's not. No. So I get a point. Someone needs to take this pen off him. Put it up his ass. Build quality. Oh, here we go. Another right. one set up for you, Mark you to win. You need to be on minuses for this one because you're. Why you should be, I be on minuses? Because you didn't even do it yourself. You got a pensioner to I do got, it. I got someone to help me. Wait, Let's not it. fall out over it. It's just a game. Just, yeah. oh, it's a game now, is it? It is because whoever wins this takes all three cars though. Yeah, no, and you on. get zero because you did basically nothing. Yeah, and you didn't even no, build it. No, you've got to argue that. You didn't build anything. Uh, I built a perfectly working fridge. That's a cardboard box and it got soggy and leaked. I get a point because I... Come on. I bought a plank of wood know, did to you? support the Al, bed. you get minus one. For lying. Because not even a homeless person would want to sleep in that. It was comfier than you. I got a good eight hours. I got minus points for not having a mattress. So no, you didn't. I did. It. I only got two points. That's got, not minus you got points. Three. Yeah, That's still minus plus one. points. I could have got, have got ingenuity. Another, another pen. Ingenuity. Oh, Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. no, no, no I'm not done with this. Why do I get minus one and not just zero? Because it's terrible. terrible. Let's not, let's let's not argue about it. Ooh, give who what points? <laughs> ingenuity, right? Norton, you do get some points for this. Right, I built a fridge. Yeah. I I, I modified a mattress. A, I, I modified a mattress as a as a as a not a hoverboard. Two points. Uh, what else did I do that was great? I bought an excellent car. <laughs> what else did I do that was great? <laughs> I bought an excellent car. Bullshit. Right, so you get two points because you made a fridge, Thanks. all that kind of shit. All right, two points. Let's face it, all I did was copy the van. True. So. And Al, you get minus five because you're no, ugly. No. Don't be so ridiculous. Right, and Al, what did you do that was creative? No, Al does get a point because he turned his van into a car by taking off the sign. That's true. That's I did that. Okay. That's clever. Right, okay. I'll so you, Al gets a point. I, I, I can agree. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Attitude. Like I've what? been very uh, happy and, and joyful during this trip. Tell you what, it's who who took part in the most things. Right. Right? So I didn't do the walk. I did the walk. I didn't go out on the lake. I went out on the time. lake. Right? I don't think I did anything, you know. Anything at all. Anything at all, really. So yeah, I'll give it I get zero. You two you went out on the lake, so that's a point each. You both, we both did, did the walk. walk. What, what else did you do? That was but I smiled the whole time. Right in the picture. We did the picture. What picture? We took a, a, a influencer picture. 
what? Yeah, but that was part. Hang that on, was we a haven't challenge. figured out who's won that yet. So. No, we'll don't worry about that. We'll figure that out later. Can I at least right, get more what, points two than po someone? Two points each. How's that? Feel this out. This is rigged against me. Two. Two. Fuel. How much did you put in? I put in 98 and I've got less than half a tank. Wait, so you've got 50 quid left, so you get 50 points, right? Ah, I get it. 50. How much did you put in? 100 quid. How much do you reckon you've used? 40, 30, 40 quid. Be honest. 100 quid, so you get 60, 60 points. points. And I put in about 88 quid, and I'm pretty sure I've used all 88 of it. So, really? yeah. So you I, get no point. Cost. How much did you spend? Forty-nine pounds. So you get a pound. Forty-five. Forty-five. Yeah. So you get five points. And what do you get? Minus one thousand four hundred and sixty-two because he spent. I actually didn't spend the entirety of my fifty pounds. Well, I didn't. I find that hard to believe. Well, the wood was free. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It's, it's got a label wood. on it, you fanny. It was at the side of the road. You fucked me for all of this. <laughs> I haven't. You and I want some points. fucking money. I want you some money back. points here. I was, I was planning on doing the entire points. thing. I was planning on doing the entire thing, so you ended up with zero at the end. Oh, we should But do I've that. lost count. Minus one. I think you should get minus. Minus 25. one for lying. You did lie. Yeah, right, like, minus one. That goes on attitude as well. No, minus, point one, inducted. minus 100. It's already put in. 3, 0, 1, 63, Didn't realise I'd given myself that yeah, low of a score. <laughs> that was the best one. It's only because of my fuel problem that I've lost this. 5, 7, nothing, nothing. 61 oh. 66 oh. Come on Al you can't complain now I did not realise it was going to be that close So technically not the winner Have you noticed a pattern with these car challenges? Yeah that every time Norton plans them he wins them Right Leave What us. have we learnt today? Well we've learnt that if you want to turn your car into a camper Go on Amazon Buy all the cheapest shit you can find Put it in a box and live like a tramp for a Two days. <laughs> well, there you had it, everyone. The best car won. <laughs> the best car. You do not need to spend one million pound on a camping holiday. And we proved that today. We have. Fuck, I've got an order. You can come back now. <laughs> Cause we got love.